Coach, gotta nail this jump if I'm gonna win gold in the cold vest at the Rocky Taki Resort. Can this please, please, please be the last time? I have to pack for Hawaii. Copy that. Ready when you are, Shawnee. We're good to go! a wipeout where everything just goes flying like what Polly just... Polly! I didn't doubt you for a second. What? I'm serious. Go big! Polly Pie! Yeah, Dad? Time to hit the Rocky Talky Mountains. Oh, hi, Lila. Shawnee? Ooh, loving that ski suit, Mr. P. Rad Dad, all the way. <laughs> Thanks, Lila. Fit me in 1986 and still fits today. <laughs> We're leaving at 20 hun! Yeah, my plane leaves soon too. <gasps> Gotta pack. I got you covered. A stylish and practical outfit for each event. Oh, at least you two have places to show off your spring break wardrobes. I'm stuck on a staycay. If you think Littleton's dull all school year, just wait until everyone's gone for spring break. <gasps> Consider yourself lucky, Lila. Time at home means you can catch up on movies and books and finish writing that fanfic you've been working on. More like counting down the minutes till you guys get back. Don't worry, we'll be talking tons. I need my fashion coach and my sports coach to survive gold in the cold fest. We'll get you some cool souvenirs, promise. Oh, just remember, jewel tones with my complexion. Thanks. <laughs> oh yeah! Hope Rocky Talkie's prepared for their yearly dose of Pierce Pocket. Yeah, that's something no one can prepare for. I love that this place never changes. I hear you, hon. Watch it! You'll burn your behinds. Grandma, you made it! I promised that I wouldn't miss another trip to Rocky Talkie. There's no time to waste. I want to hit the hot tub, then the skating rink, then the hot tub, then the ice sculpture exhibit, all before a relaxing sunset dip in the hot tub. <laughs> I like the way you think, Pierce. He's so cute. What's his name? Uh, Paxton, my baby brother. Oh, ew. And you're coming with me. Hey, we're practically the same person. Genetics. I need to train for gold in the cold fest. Gotta work out the border cross kinks. I'll join you, Polly. Let's put on our winter duds and hit the powder. Yeah. Fair warning, I've seen some stiff competition around here. That's why I've been having some pocket-sized practice. Every year that we come here, I've watched the gold in the cold fest and dreamed about winning the gold. Now that I'm old enough to compete, I'm gonna give it my all. Shawnee, having fun in the sun? Yes! I 
just saw two dolphins jump over a sailboat under a rainbow. I'm also having a marvelous time on my couch watching movies with Bonita. We just finished Quacknophobia, the heart-wrenching story of a boy and his fear of ducks. Ooh, I've been meaning to stream that. So, is the coaching staff almost ready for our first practice run? Indeed. Hold it. Show me the threads. Ooh, that's so sizzling. It might melt the snow. Thanks, Lila. Wish me luck. Camera check. Mic on. Okay, let's do this. Uh, Grandma? Everything okay? Grandma. I, um... Lila, Shawnee, I'll call you back. Grandma? Uh, wouldn't you rather get some hot chocolate, dear? Sure, Grandma. Let's warm you up. <gasps> the gold in the cold fest trophy! Cool! Wait, is that you? Indeed it is. Two-time champ. But that was a long time ago. I can't believe you didn't tell me. Well, let's just say my last competition wasn't my best. In the first event, my figure skates were twisting and turning, light as a feather. The luge course was extra icy that day, and I was on my game. Then came the final event. The race was close. Griselle Grande and I were neck and neck the whole way, but then... It happened. Somehow my ski caught an edge. A classic yard sale took a big tumble, lost my equipment and the competition. And now, every time I put on my skis, well... Grandma, I had no idea. Sorry, dear. I thought I could get over it. But being at the top of that run with you made it all come back. I've been trying to forget that fall for over 50 years. And yet, sometimes it's all I think about. What went wrong? Don't worry, we'll get you back on the slope soon enough. But first, Coco. Liquid chocolate has solved many a problem. Did you see me wipe out? My equipment flew everywhere. Of course I saw it. Your ski pole nearly pegged me. But it did give me an idea about how we'll finally get that locket. After Polly wipes out and her equipment is spread all over the mountain, <laughs> we'll run down and steal the locket! Gigi, you've done it again! No names! I'm Coach Drizel, and you're Gwendo for fear. We're from somewhere else. Now, it's time for us to make that pocket girl wipe out! It'll be the biggest and best yard sale of the year! <laughs> more, Gwen, more! <laughs> Babushka! Sorry about earlier. I was taking a tour down memory lane. All good. Everything okay? Think so, but it's a long story. Whatever you do, please do not tell me you are hiking up a volcano in the most majestic setting on Earth. Okay, I won't. But you are, right? Uh, yeah. So, are you ready, Polly? I hope so, but I didn't get to do a border cross practice run. Grandma was frozen stiff with fear. Turns out she competed in gold in the cold fest, too. Wow! Cool! Not the fear thing, but the gold in the cold fest thing. Go on! But she wiped out. And now, I'm gonna do everything in my power to win this thing for her and restore glory to the Pocket family name. Well, gold is my favorite color, and if you're going to win it, we need to get to work. Absolutely. Whoa, Mom, watch out! Your feet! Sorry, call you right back. The annual Spring Break Gold in the Cold Fest competition is about to begin. Contestants, please make your way to our first event, Figure skating! <laughs> All set, Polly? Yep, feeling pretty good. Hold the phone, literally. Outfit check. Perfection. Remember, the end of your routine is the most difficult, so keep hydrated and stretch. Copy that, coach. Shani, why are you yelling? And what's that sound? You're in a helicopter.
monster, aren't you? Next up, Polly Pocket. Double P's, P square. It's called alliteration, Jack. I'm up. Gotta go. You can do this! More importantly, how much do the judges love your outfit? <laughs> oh no! Try to regain your balance! Stay low and extend your arms! <gasps> Are you okay? Yeah. Sorry, Grandma. Oh, no worry, sweetie. You'll get him on the next one. <laughs> I fun! I fun! I really fun! <laughs> Be safe, Polly! Yeah, what she said. Safety first. Shawnee, you there? Camera check. Hi! Looks good. How you feeling? I'm okay. I had a big breakfast, and before you ask, yes, it included one of your banana smoothies. And the protein bars I gave you for extra energy? Got them. How are the conditions? I've developed a complex matrix to analyze every variable and possible outcome for your run. According to my stats, riders are having the most trouble with two tricky turns. If you maintain focus, watch your speed, and lean hard into those turns, you should be able to avoid a wipeout and win the race. Thanks, coach. I painted my nails like 400 times already. Lila, shh! Polly is in the middle of her run! Whoops! Go, Polly! Hey, Lila! Oh, the second turn is coming up, but slow down! You're going too fast! Shawnee, the track was tampered with! That sounds so unfair. Uh-oh. I'm looking at the Rocky Talky weather report. A big storm is approaching. Ugh, even the weather is against me? Is it weird that even though I should be parasailing over a sunset right now, I'm having more fun hanging with my best friends? Oh, that's the cutest. Aw, Shawnee. But I have to be honest. I don't feel good about this event. Polly Pocket! I've seen footage on every racer here, and you're the best by far. Chin up! Preach on, sister. We know this course inside and out. Every twist and turn, every icy patch to avoid. Combining your skills with my instructions... And my style. We can't be stopped. I'll be there every step of the way to guide you. Now get out there and crush this thing! Let's do it! I'm okay! Thanks, Shawnee. I feel better. Ish. Storm's blowing in fast. Can I get a status update, Coach? Coach? Need an update here. Shawnee? You there? Lila? Anyone? Hello, Hello gold, gold in the Cold, cold Festers! After the first two events, Gwendo Furfia leads the pack, but there's tight competition! For everyone except Polly Pocket. Winner of the name game, but last place in Gold in the Cold Fest, the game that actually matters. Riders, please make your way to the starting line! This one is the main event! The creme de la creme! The big kahuna! The... I need a vacation. Oh, you've had some tough luck, dear. But don't worry, if you win the final event, you still have a shot at a medal. Not the gold one, but a medal nonetheless. I'm in last place, it's storming, and I lost my coach. Oh, what's the use? Sorry, Grandma, but 
I quit. Polly, please, you can't quit. But you did. Maybe this mountain wasn't meant for the Pocket family after all. I don't want you to go down the same road, or in this case, the same hill, that I did. Please don't quit. You might regret it for the rest of your life. Fear isn't the answer. I'm not afraid. I'm just... Uh, a little scared of the complete and utter humiliation that awaits. We all have to face our fears eventually. Just trying your best to success in itself. Okay, I'll race, but only under one condition. Borders, take, take your, your marks. marks. Get, Get set. set. Whee! What a rush! Now lean hard into the turn. Thanks, Coach Grandma. After this straightaway, big right turn. You've got this! Listen closely, Gwen. This is imperative. Make sure Polly is in first when you get to the midpoint of the race. Let's just say she won't know what hit her. Copy. Copy what? I'll have to take that as a yes. Order. Don't pay any attention to her. This is your race, Polly. We're gaining on her. No, 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 no! That's not what I want! Grandma, hang on! Out of the way! It's coming right for you! Use the locket, Polly. That's it! Great race, honey. You tried your best. I can't believe I lost. I can. Uh, Pax agrees. Hey, cool it, Pierce. Not the time. I'm proud of you, Polly. Even though you didn't win, you did the right thing saving that girl. Thanks, Grandma. You were a pretty stealthy navigator. We'll get him next time. But what was with that snowball? That wasn't some random rogue snowball. Something is going on here. I just can't put my finger on it. What in the name of... I won, Gigi! I really won! No names, Gwen! I said no names! Gwen! Grisel Grande? I knew there was a certain stink in the air. How dare you sabotage this competition? Wait, do you mean sabotage today's competition? Or the one she sabotaged when you were kids? Pardon me, young lady? Yeah, you know, when you were a kid, she sabotaged your race too. And today we sabotage Polly's together. Family tradition. Oh, that was a secret, right? How do you live with yourself? Just fine. I'm a great roommate. You cheated? Yes, I did. But you can't prove a thing. I won and win one. That gold in the cold fest trophy is coming with us. I don't think so, Grizel. Wait! Are you filming this? Every incriminating second. Your ski pass has officially expired. But you can't prove a thing. I want... You can't prove a thing. Cheating? In sports? Well, this just won't be tolerated. Unhand me! This is no way to treat a former gold in the Cold Fest Grand Champion! Not anymore! We're stripping you of your title! Eight, 
Nine, ten. Ha! Huh. Same as the fingers. What do you know? Lila, what's up? Still loving every minute of the staycation? I'm bored. It's terrible. What are you doing? It looks like you're having fun. Oh, nothing. Just a little gourmet picnic by a spectacular waterfall. Please tell me my souvenir isn't one of those silly shirts. <laughs> of course not! But you're a medium, right? <gasps> oh, it's Polly. Let me add her. Hey! I'm on my last run of the day and just wanted to call and say this trip has been really great, but I miss my girls. I miss you both, too. Oh, really? So do I. You're never gonna believe what happened. I got Grandma back on the slopes. The competition didn't exactly work out, but I really stepped up on my last run. If there's one thing I learned from Quacknophobia 2 Return of the Quack, it's that winning isn't everything. And ducks love pickles. Anyway, I want to hear every little detail when you get back. Hurry home, please. Bye. Polly, wait! What size are you? They're gonna love them. Ready, Polly? We'll hit the board across course one more time, just for fun. Looks like Grandma got her groove back. Hey, wait up, Speedy McSpeedster! Whoa, whoa. Ah! Oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> now that was a yard sale. The pocket sports gene clearly skipped a generation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay! So hot outside. So hot inside. Watch the vase with the racket, please. Need more cold air. So hot. Must crank up air conditioner. Stop! It's the middle of a heat wave, so we have to keep the AC on low power. Maybe it's my melty brain, but I'm not following that logic. If everyone in town uses even a little too much power for their air conditioning, there'll be a power outage and chaos will ensue. A tiny sacrifice can make a big difference. Tiny sacrifice, you say? <laughs> Almost done. There! My AC exponentializer is complete. Genie, call Shiny and Lila. Hey, gals. Is it hot enough for you? Uh, I feel like I'm filled with lava. I'm so hot, I hardly want to correct you by telling you that magma is the proper term. Forget the lava or magma, or whatever. Come over for the ultimate cool-down sesh. Bye! And the finishing touch. No one will notice a few degrees. Ooh, this is so cool! Um, fishies? Don't worry, they're in a powered-down physiological state. Frozen solid, but alive and well. I am loving your Super AC Exponentializer. Total genius. I don't know about total genius. I just threw the Exponentializer over the vent and turned the AC a little higher, and my invention is a winter winner! It's amazing that you've been able to keep the freeze confined to your room. Um, yeah, amazing. All of this cold talk is making me want to warm up. Up for some chocolate in the form of piping hot liquid? Liquid is my second most favorite state of chocolate. Go big! <laughs> is it just me or does it seem strangely slippery in here? Based on my observations, your exponentializer made your room cold, but pushed even colder air throughout the whole house and froze the place! If it was frozen, could I lick this wall? Uh, uh, that definitely frozen! At least Pax didn't break it yet! Oh no! It's... it's... what's the phrase? Blah, blah, blah. Chaos will ensue! Chaos! Yep, chaos definitely ensued. <sighs> Heartbeat is strong, but slow. Like your frozen fishies. So we leave them outside to thaw and we're good. No! They're people, not ice pops! 
We have to thaw them with scientific precision. Thawing them correctly will be tricky, but the main thing is we don't panic. <gasps> Pierce is here! Everybody panic! <laughs> uh, tiny power! Hey, Mom, Dad, forgot my board. Can't skate without a board. Right, Dad? <clears throat> uh, that's right, son. You are very smart. I love the way you think. Speaking of my good thinking, I thought it'd be rad to get a half pipe for our yard. Uh, I can show you the one I want on my phone. Oh, no need, Pierce. Get whatever you want. Seriously? Thanks, Mom. All right, everyone. Pierce out. <sighs> that was close. So, now what? We'll have to reverse the exponentializer's effects ASAP. I could work on a fix with your 3D printer. I'll call it the de-exponentializer-izer. What's with the second izer? Dramatic effect! Once we get this printed and put together, this device should thaw your family without the risk of side effects. A power outage? Hmm, that does sound familiar. Blah, 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 power outage! Blah, 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 blah. Uh, power's out for two seconds and it's already warming up in here. Oh, this is bad. Polly, you have to keep your parents frozen until we can find a way to safely thaw them out. Remember, an uncontrolled thaw equals floppy, blobby, sludgy parents. On it. Lila, you're with me. Shawnee, you figure out how to get the power back on. Already brainstorming solutions. <laughs> I could have shrunk her. Yeah, but then how am I supposed to get my reps in? We'll put them in the freezer. No, wait. If the power's off, the freezer won't be cold either. What should we do? Ooh, ice cream truck. Not a great time for a snack, Lila. My parents... No, Polly. The ice cream truck has a freezer on board. Hmm. But how are we going to get them in there? Get out. Ice cream inspector coming through. Never seen you before. And that makes two of us, honey. I just moved here from Iceland. Ah, fair enough. But I gotta ask you a question only a real inspector would know. What shade of ice cream is your uniform? The strawberry dream cream. Impressive. Well done. But let's cut the idle banter. I need to inspect your ice cruiser. But I'm not even using the bike today. Sorry, sister. Rules are rules. No, leave the door open! For reasons of confidential inspection business things. You'll be safe in here. Let me get my last maintenance log. No need to go into your truck. Tiny power! to inspect. Sorry, ma'am, but when I became an ice cream server, I promised myself that I'd promptly serve ice cream on hot days to any hungry customers with cash. And I'm gonna do that, even if that means breaking the rules and skipping an inspection. <sighs> Don't react. Positive thoughts. Cherry ice pop coming up. this speech, but I need to see your scooping certificate. Go big! Aha! Says here it expires next year. So how do you explain that? So gross! Abort mission!
Listen, I'm coming, kid! Power's back on. The D exponentializer will soon be ready for all of our parental sign needs. Thanks, Johnny. <laughs> Should I? A tiny sacrifice can make a big difference. <laughs> Go big ice pop! Grape? I asked for a cherry ice pop. Oh. Heard this belongs to you. Diane! Uh, Lila? Mike's named Diane. Sorry I disrespected you earlier, ma'am. I assume it will be going on my permanent record? Nah. Us ice cream folk have to stick together, right? <coughs> but, like, not this sticky. A little tight. Go big! Okay, here goes everything. Wait! We might as well save the vase. It's working perfectly. Not even screwing up their molecular makeup a tiny bit. Now let's hide before they thaw out. Who gives a baby a tennis racket? Wait, did someone change the AC settings? It's set to low power. Like you said, if everyone in town uses too much air conditioning, there'll be a power outage and chaos will ensue. A tiny sacrifice can make a big difference. Oh, you do listen to me. Two thousand dollars? Mom, the half pipe? We talked about this? Here's Gregory Pocket! <laughs> Polly, you almost forgot this. No need, I got my mini travel toothbrush. Oh, great. Did you remember to pack your PJs? Yep, I got everything. But it's just one bag. How can you have everything you need for a sleepover in there? I don't need much because tonight is all about practicing for our performance tomorrow morning at the Senior Center's bi-weekly breakfast banquet. Oh, what about your special nightlight? Mom, I'm 11 now. I don't need a nightlight. <coughs> okay. But did you pack your instrument? Of course I brought my instrument. Please, Mom. I'm not a little kid anymore. You're right, honey. I guess I still think of you as my little girl. And I just don't want you to forget anything. Look at you. You packed everything on your own and all in one bag. <sighs> you really have grown up. Um, honey. Oh, sweetie. The Pestomatic 3000, the most advanced home security system and pesto maker in the world, is finally ready to go. Yes, dear, I know. The whole neighborhood knows since you've been shouting about it all week. I'm just so excited that we're actually going to catch that rascally raccoon tonight. Just watch. It's got nets, drones, lasers, lights, and more. It can catch anything. Including us. Uh, <laughs> uh. All right, then. I better go. Oh, I'm going to miss you tonight. OK, have fun. And if you need me, just, Mom, I'm a grown-up, remember? Right. My little girl is, I guess, grown-up. Bye! Sorry I'm late. Got caught in Dad's new high-powered security system. Uh, looks like he did, too. Oh, hey, girls. <laughs> Everything's cool. It's all good. Networks. <laughs> Now that the band's all here, we should practice for the big show. I got my jug. I've got my washboard. And I've got my spoons right here. No, it can't be. No, 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 no. Go big costumes. Go big couch. Go big wings. Go big makeup. Go big kitchen sink. Oh, no. This is my worst nightmare. Relax, Polly. 
plenty of spoons in the kitchen. No can do, Shawnee. Grandma gave me those spoons. If she sees me without them tomorrow, she'll be crushed. And I need them tonight so I can practice my big spoon solo. Let's just call your mom. No, 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 you don't understand. This is the first time I packed without mom's help. If she finds out I forgot my spoons, she's gonna think I'm a little kid forever. We have to break into my room. But how will we get by the new security system? Oh yeah, the pesto pasta eight million. Are you shrinking what I'm thinking? Dive, dive, no! Ah! Holy, stop! Getting around these trip lasers is impossible! Please, Shawnee, I've watched a lot of spy movies, so I know that when someone says it's impossible, that just means it's time to unleash our secret weapon. An invisible car? A laser watch? Cool, but no. The secret weapon is always a dramatic catchphrase. Like, you're trying to crisscross the wrong girls. Ooh, or, smell your laser alarms. Oh, I've got the best catchphrase ever. Let's hurry up and get my spoons. Eh, not very catchy. <laughs> My spoons have to be in here. Now push slow. <laughs> ah! Your dad must have sprung for the upgrade with contact sensors for all the windows. Aboard! Aboard! Raccoon! <sighs> False alarm. Score one for the raccoon. You're rooting against me? More like for the raccoon. She's just trying to eat. Mm -hmm. Look, you've been up late every night for weeks trying to catch that raccoon. Here, maybe you should eat too. Try a PB and chocolate sandwich. <gasps> Someone beat me to it! Raccoon! What? How? Where'd it go? I'll catch this raccoon by thinking like a raccoon. Dad's performance art classes are really paying off. I'm impressed. And embarrassed. Let's tail the raccoon as it goes back inside. Come on! Hey, I know that raccoon. I leave her peanuts every night, and on Thursdays she gets lasagna. Extra mozzarella. Oh, so good. What? Sometimes I need a late night snack. Best lawn lasagna I've ever had. Honey, can you stop playing raccoon for a second and turn off those sirens? Uh, <laughs> sorry, hon. Uh, got lost in my character. She's on the roof. Come on. <laughs> The Pestomatic 3000 includes the trademark Santa Stopper. The second that raccoon makes contact in the fireplace, it's game over. Impressive spy moves for a rodent. I wonder what her catchphrase is. Probably, say hello to the Furminator. Less catchphrase, more catching. Come on! He's really exhausted himself with this raccoon thing. Maybe we should catch the raccoon for him so he can go back to normal. <laughs> but what about your spoons? We'll catch the raccoon for Dad first, then spoons hmm. on the way out. There! <laughs> Raccoons! <sighs> oh, that was close. Now's our chance to get that raccoon so my dad could get some rest. Let's tiny up some loose ends, kitchen twine style. Yeah, this bandit picked the wrong pocket. Excellent catchphrase. Sweet! <laughs> Cut you red pod! Your dad's gonna flip when he wakes up and sees that we finally caught the raccoon! And her toy.
totally precious babies. Huh? Oh. oh, I gotta get some coffee to stay awake. According to my calculations, the peanuts you were leaving for her weren't enough to feed her and her new family. <laughs> you can tell all that from a calculator? Ah, the wonders of math. Oh. <gasps> Dad alert! We can't let him take their mama away. Tiny power mama raccoon! Go big us! Raccoon? Where? <laughs> what? No raccoons. <laughs> Just us. Polly? Shawnee? Lila? Another false alarm. What are you doing here? I, uh, forgot to say goodbye before I left. But you did say goodbye. Oh, well, then I, uh... You forgot something, didn't you? Yes, that's it. I, uh, forgot my spoons. Mom was right. I guess I'm still just a little kid who forgets things. <laughs> it takes a little courage and a big kid to admit something like that. And your mom knows that's just what you are. She does? Absolutely. And even big kids need help sometimes. That's why mom left your spoons on Shawnee's front step. I don't know how you could have missed them on your way over. What's in your pocket there? Uh, my lucky, uh, grasshopper? Your lucky what? Gotta go practice. Thanks, Dad! Polly Pie, you must have dropped these on your way over. Love you, Mom. So what do we do with the bandit? If we let her go, we'll be subjected to more of your dad's raccoon performance art. Go big, Mama Raccoon! <whistles> You're a good mom, just like my mom. And you do anything to take care of your babies. But it's not okay to break into our house and steal. Especially because that means you're keeping my dad up all night. But I want you and your babies to have plenty of food. So from now on, if you promise not to steal anymore, I'll leave you peanuts every night, lasagna on Thursdays, and a PB&C sandwich on weekends. Deal? Let's just get that in writing. Paw there, please. <laughs> So exclusive to play something that no one else in school plays. Snack break! And that's why I play the spoons. <laughs> 97, 98, 99, 100! Ready or not, here I come! Hmm. Where are you, Polly? <laughs> I found you, Polly! <laughs> I'll keep Shawnee looking for a... What are you doing over there? Oh, no! Shawnee's dad! Get your buns off that couch and into the sun at the Smith Valley Water Park in beautiful Littleton. You like log flumes? We've got the Splash Out, the biggest one ever in the greater Littleton area. You like pools? We have a giant-sized pool, and we're slashing our ticket prices in half, half, half! Mr. Revis. Yeah, it's been such a busy time, I totally miss calling you about pulling the commercial. We shouldn't have it airing anymore. Huh? I'll miss our little corner of Littleton, but the decision to move was obvious. <gasps> move? Yeah, I'm going to Cosmopolitan City for a meeting tonight, but it all goes down tomorrow. Tomorrow? <laughs> it's been so hectic. I haven't even told my own daughter, Shawnee, that we're moving. I have to tell Shawnee. Go big! I mean, my dad has been a bit stressed and traveling a lot, so I haven't talked to him much, but why would we move? I'm guessing the water park business isn't exactly booming. Moving to a new street, to a new town, <gasps> to a new school where I'd have to make new friends, but I like the friends I already have. Yeah, uh-huh, that's great, Shawnee. How can I fix this? This is the worst thing ever. Polly, I just want to talk. I have a plan. Come on, let's go to the water park. No, thanks. The situation calls for full blanket burrito. Oh, don't worry, Shawnee Burrito. I'm going to get Lila, and we're going to take care of everything. So, how's Shawnee doing? She's gone full burrito. 
the most deliciously despondent of all the foods. Let's hope she doesn't get to the sad poet stage. That's why we're going to fix the water park. Tiny power! I can't believe it's really going out of business. Okay, now I believe it. No wonder business is bad. Even the pool is empty. Well, say goodbye to Shawnee now, because there's no way we can fix this all by tomorrow. Unless... Tiny Power Water Slide! We can take all this old equipment back to my place and give it a makeover. By tomorrow morning, this will be the best water park in the world! Then Mr. Smith's business will be saved and Shawnee won't have to move. <laughs> you had me at makeover! Tiny Power Water Park! Hey. We have some good news! Yeah, everything's gonna be okay. We have a Polly Pocket plan in motion. Wanna come over and help? No, thanks. I'd rather just hang out here. We're gonna fix this, Shawnee! Do you think she's okay? Yeah, she's painting. And you can't paint if you're not okay, right? <laughs> Well, with just the two of us. Hey, Shawnee, you talked to your dad yet? No, he's out of town for meetings tonight, and this is more of an in person conversation. But I was actually calling to see if you could come over and. We will, right after we finish this thing. You're going to love it. Okay. Done. <sighs> I don't know if it's just because I'm really tired, but I think the Lazy River is the best thing I have ever made. I love Lazy. I want a Lazy. Can we float to the water park? Well, you should ask Mr. Sparkly Rainbow Unicorn. Um, <laughs> uh, Polly? What are you talking about? Wow, I'm more tired than I thought, and I thought I was pretty tired. Come on, let's go save the water park. I'd say our extreme fixer-upper was an extreme success. And now the water park is gonna start making money again, and Shawnee won't have to move. Go big water park. without Shawnee around. I can't believe we destroyed the water park instead of saving it. I can't believe we weren't crushed by a water slide. Oh, don't worry, Polly. You always figure something out. But I can't even think straight right now. I let Shawnee down. I have to talk to her. Let's go. Ahem, <clears throat> aren't you forgetting something? Great, can't leave tiny evidence behind. have to hide the destruction. Um, Shawnee's the one with the plans for this kind of thing. Well, I'll stick with what I do best. 
Tiny Power Water Park. I'm her. No one listens. Patter, patter, my soul. Drip, drop, my heart. In the rain, I perish. Alone, by myself. So low. Shawnee! <laughs> Sad poet stage! Garbage on my floor does match my mood, but I still wonder why you're dumping garbage on my floor. We tried to fix your dad's water park so you wouldn't have to move, but then I destroyed it, and now you're gonna have to leave, and it's all my fault, and we're gonna miss you so much, and I'm so sorry, and... Wow, saying that out loud makes me feel a bit better. Studies show that talking to your best friends about a problem helps you cope. And when you told me I was moving, all I wanted to do was talk to my best friends, but you were too busy trying to fix things. You didn't want us to fix it? But I thought I should do something. Sometimes the best thing a best friend can do is be the best listener. I'm sorry, Shawnee. Instead of being out there trying to fix things for you, I should have just been here for you. We're here now, ready to listen. Oh, oh I'm going to miss you both so much. I'm so sad that I feel all sticky and heavy inside like wet cotton candy dropped in the gutter. Wow, that was specific. Ew, that sounds awful. There is one thing that might make me feel better. Going to the water park. Well, most of the water park is on your floor. Right, but when we first moved to Littleton, I spent a lot of time at the lot with my dad as they made the plans to build the water park. And I'd like to say goodbye. Then let's go. Tiny power. Yeah. Oh, your dad's here, Shawnee. Maybe we should come back later. No, I'm fine. A dump truck? I wonder what's going on. Go big! Why did you come back? There's nothing left to take to the dump. What do you mean? I just got here. <laughs> well, then who took everything? Hey, beats me. You know you're still gonna have to pay me. Dad! I can't believe you didn't tell me! Shani? What are you and your friends doing here? Are you okay? I know what you're planning. We're going to move out of Littleton. What? We're not the ones moving. The water park is moving. We got a bigger, better lot uptown. Shawnee, I'd never take you away from your friends. Oh, come here, Shawnee Bear. Oh, well, I guess I could have saved myself a lot of stress if I had just talked to you. <laughs> Oops, guess I didn't hear what I thought I heard. <laughs> Gotta work on that listening, Polly. <gasps> Can we see the new water park? Sorry, kiddo, but it won't be ready for a few weeks. Hmm. I know what we can do until the new water park opens. Mm, this is the life. Now we can be pruny year-round. That's a 300% increase in potential prune, and we can expect at least 26% wider wrinkles. <laughs> it's good to see you calculating again, Shawnee. with this little biology thing. If it's just a little thing, I can definitely help too. I have biology next block. Yeah, but this is a thing where only one friend can help. Spar you later. Oh. What took you so long, Lila? Well, I had to shower and dry my hair. This dew doesn't double condition itself. <laughs> Go big! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hey, Polly, oh, Nick, Shawnee, hey, Lila. Hey, big students. Today, we start preparing for the Wild Winter Festival. Each group will have their own booth right in the middle of the Littleton Zoo. This is your chance to make the holidays oh, extra special. Extra special, extra tiny. Excellent. Now, split into groups. Oh, oh yes. yes. Come here. Hey, Big, come with us. Aw, thanks, Polly. Okay, team, to make the holidays extra special, magical, tiny-rific. Uh, um, 
I mean, regular terrific. Right, so first we'll go small. Smaller groups. Yep, two smaller groups. Big and Lila, you're on booth building duty while Shawnee, Nick, and I do other stuff. Yeah! I can't wait to be in on the magic you're cooking up. We have to do it all without Big in on the magic we're cooking up. Then why'd you invite her to be on our team, Polly? You think we can pull off the greatest slash tiniest gift-giving extravaganza in history without Big figuring out your secret? Now that Big isn't a bully, she's cool. But this is bigger than Big. This is Grandma giving locket mission stuff. The locket should be used to make a big difference. And I got Coco! Grandma, you're here! Grandma P's in the house! Whoa, Coco! I'm in Littleton until the new year. Now, what's this locket talk about? Just figuring out a way to make a big difference by making the holiday extra special for everyone. Sounds like you're following in the bootsteps of one of the best. I have it on good authority that Santa himself uses pocket magic. So, what's the plan? We'll be all Santa-like, doing pocket-sized recon to figure out the best gifts for all these people on the list who bought tickets to the Winter Festival. We'll get gifts to the fair by making them pocket-sized and putting them in Santa's bag. I'll be in the bag, making everything go big and magically appear on cue. Giving is what the holidays are all about. But it'll be risky with all those people around. We don't want just anyone knowing our pocket secret. The secret is safe with us, Grandma. Now, let's get our gift giving on. Tiny power! Yeah. If only I had a longer scarf. Longer scarf for Lana Lady. Got it. Ugh, skateboarding in the snow is impossible. Boarding? Snow? Huh. Oh, come, Quats. I broke my favorite cookie cow. New cow cookie jar for Mr. Smith. On it. Oh, nothing gets me in the holiday mood like these salmon cookies my Nana used to make. <sighs> but no one in Littleton has them on the menu. Salmon cookies? Ew! Get our gifting on. Yeah! <laughs> our booth is so cool, it's frozen. Amazing job, Big. Right back at you. With this much blink, I bet you you could see it from space. Hey, Shawnee, Nick, where's Polly? Um, she's around here somewhere. Probably closer than you can imagine. <laughs> like right here with. Ow! Look, there's one of our giftees, Sky Brown. Go get her, Nick. Let me help you. No, oh. hands off. Sorry, it's it's just that Polly doesn't let anyone but Shawnee touch her special bag. You see, the bag is, uh, it's, it's very, very important to Polly. It's a pocket family heirloom. Okay, I was just offering to help because Polly is always so nice to me. Ho, ho, ho. Santa Shawnee has a gift for Sky Brown. Sky Brown, Sky Brown. A oh, go big present! Whoa, that was sick. Oh, must be one of them trick bags. A snowboard? This is perfect for boarding in the snow. <laughs> yeah! Hey, gang, the market's starting. Everyone get ready! Warm and cozy and just my size. Ooh. Oh, it's a cookie blob? The perfect replacement for my cookie cow. I love it. Nailed it! <laughs> oh, looks like Polly's done it again. Ah, can't believe Polly's not here to see how happy she made everyone. Oh, you must be Bella Bigowski. I'm Polly's grandma, Penelope Pocket. Call me Big. And you can call me Grandma. All of Polly's good friends do. Uh, I'm not sure Polly and I are such good friends. I mean, I think she's super cool, and I wanted to hang out more and get to know her, but she's always busy. 
Oh. We're giving gifts at record speed. Looks like there's only just Miss Fuss's salmon cookies. Nice. Maybe I should come out now. I feel bad for not hanging out with Big. Can you create a distraction? Got it. A distraction like Polar Bear! Yeah, like that. But maybe something more believable? No! Real Polar Bear! <laughs> Smile for the claw parazzi. Hurry, Nick, or we won't have time to visit the porcupine. Oh, I guess those gates don't have an auto-close feature. Johnny, what's going on? Ah, hide! Salmon cookies, he smelled them! Ah, you want cookies? Here, go big cookies! What are we gonna do? I don't know. We can't put Polly, uh, Polly's bag in more danger. I'm not one to judge what anyone thinks is important. So if that heirloom bag is important to my pal Polly, then it's important to me too. Time to give 110%. Hey, bear! You looking for a snack? You bear, or are you a chicken? <laughs> That training with Lila better have paid off! Big saved me? Wow! Go big! <sighs> Polly! And you're safe! Come on, we have to help Big! by going big for the fair, but in the process, I overlooked big. Well, sometimes the difference you can make is being a better friend, and you don't even need a magic locket to do that. But I love the locket. How am I supposed to be better friends with someone if I can't share something I love with them? Oh, Polly, we don't share our secret with just anyone, but someone as brave, strong, and selfless as Big isn't just anyone. No, no more photos. It's so embarrassing. I just wanted to be there for one of my best friends and show her I cared. Thanks, Big. I have something I want to tell you. Oh, my gym shorts. Are you kidding me? I can't believe it. Okay, here I go. I make the pocket promise because I believe the littlest person can make the biggest difference. Now for your inaugural pocket adventure. Tiny power! Oh, I'm so freaking out with how cool this is, I can't think straight. Take it away, Peaches! <laughs> Happy holidays! More like holidays. <laughs> Do mine eyes deceive me? Or is that the prettiest unicorn ever? If we time it just right, we can catch this unicorn! Enough waiting! I want to win! Ah, I'm frozen! Mm. <laughs> Noob, I didn't program a Unicorn Quest Rainbow Magic to be that easy. <laughs> Fly! 
Lila, you're really missing out. I'll be there as fast as I can, but I can't go into a game without a perfectly customized character. <gasps> Shawnee, you put in purple high tops and leopard print combat boots? How do you expect me to choose? <laughs> Your game's awesome, but I keep getting frozen in ice when I want to be the first to catch the unicorn. Holly, you gotta be patient. This game's all about timing. Uh, does timing look like honey? Because I'm seeing honey. Me too. My screen's got a case of the honey drips. Strange. I didn't program honey into my game. Ah! What's happening? Hmm, there must be something wrong with my laptop. I'm gonna have to shut it down and take it apart. But your laptop's hosting the game. We can't play if it's shut down. My code can't be the problem. Tiny it has power. to be the hardware in the computer. It'll take a while, but... <gasps> I have an idea! We keep the laptop on, shrink down, and go inside to fix it. It'll be way faster. And then we can get back to the quest. Hmm, I suppose it could work. I can wait. I'll use my buffness to get XP and get even more buff. And take your time. I'm still deciding on belt color. Hot pink or fuchsia. Oh, or maybe magenta. I hadn't even considered magenta. BRB, we're going AFK. Tiny power! Holy hard drive! Who knew computers were so cool? Technically, not all computers are. I customized each and every transistor chip of mine. It's a slow process, but huh. I never thought about a keyboard from this perspective. The letters are upside down. Coming straight for us? What? Who's typing on my laptop? Captain Collie Wobbles? A minor cat astrophe. Glad you're okay, because the honey stuff's definitely getting worse. If we don't fix it soon, honey will take over Unicorn Quest Rainbow Magic forever, and that will be one sticky situation. <gasps> Polly, we need to go time here to reach the code. You got it. Tiny power! This is the code to my game. That line's the coding for my fairy wings, and that's all the options for eye color. <gasps> you can customize the eye color? What's that part for? <gasps> Me? I didn't code that. It has to be a hardware problem. Michael was perfect. Not anymore. It must be a computer bug. Or computer bees? These bees must have been the work of a brilliant hacker. <laughs> or it could have been your cat. Uh, that cat does love a warm keyboard. Maybe if I remote access the code with my phone, I can delete the bees. Yeah, be gone, bees. The bees are regenerating faster than I can delete. Uh, hate to be a buzzkill, but I found the hive. Maybe I'm not the coder I thought I was. Yes, you are. You just gotta think. Maybe if I delete the whole game. No way we're deleting it when I know we can fix it. If the hive's in the game, we'll have to go in and defeat the bees there. Hmm. I'd have to rewrite the code so we can play from inside the computer. Nick, Lila, get ready to play the game of your life. Oh, yeah. Bring it. Hmm. I should add wings if we're fighting bees. I hope this works. Whoa. I knew I programmed it to auto-recognize a returning player, but I never expected this. Shawnee the coding genius. Holla! Uh, Nick. <laughs> the hive's over there. Those bees look dangerous. Any ideas? 
Hmm, the bees are a glitch. But how do you defeat a glitch? The glitch! Polly, you're a genius! I am. Whew. I programmed a wishing well into the game to store items, but anything I put in it would be gone the next time I turned on my computer. It's perfect! If we put the bees in the well and shut the computer off, we get rid of them for good! I like it, but how will we get the bees into this, uh, glitching well? Hmm... We can use flowers to lure the bees and trap them in this honeypot. It may look small, but I programmed it to be, um, not small on the inside. To do this right, we'll need to wait for Lila. Enough waiting. I want to win. And she's off. Time! No fair. Uh, unbelievable. Not going with the fuchsia. If you do it too soon, they'll get out of the well before we turn off the laptop. How are we going to do that from inside the game? We've got a friend on the outside. More bees! Let's do this! Captain Collie Bubbles! Captain Collie Bubbles! Here, Kitty Kitty! Wake up! It's okay. Now I need you to be a... And hit that little old power button for me, okay? Ugh. Nick, help me get his attention. Hey, cat! Hello! Over here! Are we there yet? Not yet. Wait! I see it! <laughs> oh, let's drop the bees in now! We have to wait for Shawnee's signal. Uh, not the screen, the keyboard! Uh, can I do it yet? Wait for it! Wait for it! Ugh, this isn't working. Or maybe it did work. Polly, now! Over bees. Go big. Did it work? It's fixed. Uh, oh Work's yeah. <sighs> Thanks for being patient, Polly. Sure thing. And I am so done with bees. <laughs> <laughs> Say, performance camp is the best, and I'm so excited. Polly, that's way too long. Marvelous. Worth it! These will be great for my scrapbook. Oh, wait. <laughs> I think we're done with pictures. I 
I'm excited for you! Fort Marquis is such a prestigious performing arts camp. And since your parents are on vacay, Lila and I wanted to drop you off, just like they uh, would. Uh, just think of me as dad. We're so proud of you, Shawnee. You're gonna knock or er, sing everyone's socks off. They'll see you for the star that you are, just like we do. But I've only sung in front of people a few times, and the other kids here will be so experienced. Go big, Shawnee's luggage! Uh, Shawnee, why did you pack so much? She didn't know what the other campers would be wearing, so I helped her bring everything. She sells seashells by the... How do I fit in with that? I don't even know what that is. How am I supposed to make friends here? Why make new friends when Lila and I could come with you? Really? Of course! We'd be happy to Stop right there! I only have one last camper on my list. Smith, comma, Shawnee. I'm Shawnee. So, you two are not on the list and not allowed past this arch. That's a very specific sign and very harsh policy. <laughs> harsh, but necessary. For years, the Mammoth Magnet Camp across the river has copied all my shows. They must be sending spies. No outsiders allowed! I will not tolerate any odd ducks! Oh, our poor little Shawnee! We have to help her! We're coming, Shawnee darling! A drone? I knew the Mammoth Magnet was spying on me! Ah! Ow! Okay, we have actors, dancers, magicians. Where are the singers supposed to go? Oh, uh, hi, I'm Ava. My mom calls me the Disco Queen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Shawnee, and... Uh, uh, I have to go. Okay, bye. <sighs> oh, Ava, you scared her off. You came back! Well, you see, we, uh... We were going to go home, but, well, we couldn't leave you without saying goodbye. Mm. Attention! Campers, it's time for welcoming announcements in the mess hall. Out of earshot of any spies. Where is Smith, Kamashani? Quick! What are you doing? Oh, you better not be sharing important show intel. No, uh, I was just, uh, looking for the bathroom. Oh, I know this is a camp, but there is no need to tinkle in the woods. Welcome to Fort Marquis. I am your camp director, Ms. Demeter. You kids will work together to create a unique play from scratch. This year, the theme is... Mermaid Ballet. What was that? I couldn't hear. The theme is Mermaid Ballet! You must be vigilant for any outsiders who try to steal that idea! I get the feeling that someone here doesn't fit in. Someone here is an odd duck! <laughs> All that being said, welcome to camp. Split in a pairs and have fun. Oh, yeah. 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 Want to do a scene together? I gotta go again. Bladders, am I right? does that misdemeanor lady think she is? I feel like she looked right at me when she said that. She must think I'm a spy. I spy with my little eye. Someone who needs a hug. <sighs> I stick out like a sore thumb. I need to fit in, but how? You're not a spy, but we can spy. Lila and I can see what the other campers are doing and give you tips to fit in for the opening number. Really? That would be so helpful. Thank you. <laughs> Sally sells seashells by the seashore. If neither he sells seashells nor she sells seashells, who shall sell seashells? Shall seashells be sold? A dramatic monologue, some magic. Shawnee can pull that off. What? Oh, no! <gasps> what is this? A tiny spy device. What are you hiding in there? <laughs> I am confiscating this for further inspection. Hi, chicken. <gasps> yes. Sally shells, she s'mores. Ugh. 
That's hard to say. <laughs> She'll get it. She's a star. Sally smells like seahorses. Ugh. Mm. <laughs> Those meddling mammoth magnets. Tiny seats for tiny robot spies! Smiley sells Seymour's by the seed store. Doing great, sweetie! <laughs> uh, this is never gonna work. There, there. There you are. I was wondering if you wanted to work on a scene. Right. Um, yes, I'd love to, but I'm meditating right now. Deep meditation. Do not disturb. Bye. Oh, okay. Bye. Oh! Uh, what was that about? Shawnee, she seems nice. You should work with her. But I don't know her. Maybe she's an acrobat, or a tap dancer, or a fire eater. I can't eat fire. Lila and I'll find out. Wait here. I don't know, Mom. I just don't fit in here. This was a bad idea. What about that Shawnee girl you texted me about? She seemed like she could be a good friend. Yeah, but every time we start to talk, she has to go. I don't think she wants to work with me. Maybe she's not into music like me. I just wish she'd take a chance on me. Even if I am a bit, well, like one of those odd ducks Mr. Meter keeps talking about. Shawnee doesn't need to pee like Ava to fit in. She needs to be herself. Shawnee and Ava are actually pretty alike. And we've just been getting in the way. But I think I can fix it. You're leaving? Mm-hmm. But you can't leave. How am I going to fit in like this? I need you. You know, you'll be fine, Shawnee. You've been able to fit in all along. All you've needed to do is be yourself. I got your note! My note? Yeah! You wrote that you were done meditating and wanted to hang out? Although you wrote it super tiny. Want to work on our scene together? I can't do magic, ballet, or eat fire, but I can sing. Really? You can sing, and I'll roller dance! The perfect pair! Sounds like she's gonna be fine. Smith, Kaba, Shawnee! Oh no! We have to help her! Just wait. She can handle herself. The Mod Quad! So this is yours! Oh, I knew it! You're supposed to be our singer, but look at you! You're one odd duck! Your outfit is a hodgepodge of every other camper's talents! I think you stole Shawnee's identity to sneak in here! You're the spy! No, 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 no! Uh, it's not what you think! I... You say she's odd? Well, we're all odd ducks here. And... and that's what makes us great! At least, that's what my mom says. <laughs> you want weird? <laughs> I'm super weird. Quack! I'm the only kid I know who likes magic. Quack! When everyone plays video games, I just want to juggle. Quack! Ah, uh, ducks! Quack, quack, quack! Ah, uh, ducks! Quack, 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 quack! And Shawnee's one of us. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Shawnee's one of us! Quack! quack. Yeah! Quack! <sighs> Scene. Oh. I was playing the character Ms. Demeter, intimidating camp director, and thanks to my interactive theater art piece, you kids have come together and bonded as a cast. Bravo! Bravo! Oh, that is some major method acting, Ms. Demeter. Please call me Rosemary. I'm glad we can finally hang out. Me too, Disco Queen. I'm a mermaid who's so afraid of being alone until I realize I'm no mermaid. I'm an odd duck. Quack, 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 that's a fact. Yeah, fact, 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 never quite fit in. No way, no how. Of our 
Darshani. She's grown into such a star so fast. She's always been a star. She just had to see it. Never quite fit in no way. No That'll be great for the scrapbook. No flash for Donald. Quack! Please? Can we please stay in the park for Rainbow Funland Soar and Snore Sleepover? It's our last chance to win the scavenger hunt and open the unicorn castle. I don't know, Polly. Your mom and I haven't seen you all day. You're seeing me right now. Uh, but we're supposed to have our spaghetti dinner. You remember? <sighs> like the one we had after we took this photo last time we were here. But you two haven't recreated yet. <laughs> wow. Look how little you two were. Not anymore. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Look at a bulge. It's a great memory, Mom. That's what vacations are all about, making memories. And what better new memory to make than staying for the Sorn Snore, finishing the scavenger hunt, and unlocking the Unicorn Castle? Please? Ah, the puppy dog eyes of doom! Oh, okay, okay, you can stay. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Fine, you can stay, but Pierce will stay with you. What, what me? Him? Pierce hates Rainbow Funland so much that he broke my irreplaceable vintage unicorn horn! Ah, oh, why am I being punished because Dad can't resist the puppy dog eyes of doom? I'm weak and I'm sorry. So, it's settled. The girls stay, and so does Pierce. And all the quality time will force Polly and Pierce to make up. <laughs> I married a parenting genius. Oh, what did I do in a past life to deserve this? Opportunity to spend some quality time with my favorite sister. Soar and snore. Soar and snore. Let me take a photo of that pic. Maybe I can convince Polly and Pierce to recreate it tonight. Thanks, Lila. The official, exclusive, and irreplaceable Soar and Snore Lantern Collectible. <gasps> Actually, I'm here to keep an eye on my sister and her friends. I'm just a selfless, caring older brother like that. Uh, you have spinach in your teeth. <laughs> I do. I mean, I do. I, I was, uh, you know, saving it for later. Didn't know if there was gonna be food at the shindig, and I'm in the bulking phase. Okay. Wow. I ate a spinach corn dog for lunch yesterday. So, you've been in there a long time, little guy. Impressive. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, your plan to get Pierce and Polly to make up was oh, chef's kiss. <laughs> I guess I really am a parenting genius. <laughs> <laughs> Set up camp? Check! Now we can get down to business. Figuring out the next scavenger hunt clue. The star has to lead to something in the park. Maybe something that can only be seen at night? Northland dragons rise! Seriously, dragons are so cool. I could make that wish come true. I'm going to bed. Good. You can't break my things if you're asleep. Come on, girls. Uh, where do you ladies think you're going? Uh, we were just. Uh, uh, uh. You've got to stay in the designated sore and snore area. Plus, you wouldn't want to miss a s'mores. Oh, s'mores? <sighs> we love s'mores, but I think we're just gonna. Hit the hay. Really? Really? Ah. Mm, really? I'm so tired. Yeah, 
I could probably use a nap. The sugar rush from that chocolatey, marshmallowy goodness would keep me up all night. Tiny power! This way, we have a scavenger hunt to finish. Uh, oh, so we're not taking a nap? You don't think Pierce will notice we're gone? My non-brother brother sleeps like a log in the middle of the forest wearing noise-canceling headphones. than s'mores! <gasps> the s'mores have been destroyed! Hmm, I wonder what happened there. Maybe we should investigate. No time. We've got bigger fish to fry. Of the unicorn scavenger hunt variety. Come on! working, missing s'mores, and now there's a power outage? Oh, what should we do, Nathaniel? Figure out a way to get the lights back on. I'm one more disaster away from having to shut down Rainbow Funland for good. <gasps> no! Rainbow Funland is going to go out of business if we can't figure out what's going on here. Or who's going on around here? Good thing I brought my magnifying glass. Hmm. hmm. Those are definitely glitter ferret tracks. Come on! Ooh, who knew a gift kiosk could give a girl the heebie-jeebies? They're just stuffed animals. See? Ah! It's that ferret from the unicorn farm! Who knows where that drain could lead? We're about to find out! There's my Farley. Oh, it is hotter than an ogre's armpit in there. <gasps> Darlene? It's her. How goes the old sabotage, Farley? Nathaniel will get what he deserves once we take down Rainbow Funland for good. Sabotaging the park is the key to my entire plan. Okay, okay. I know the plan has holes. I had to think they up all by myself. Key. <gasps> That's it! Yes! I can't believe it! I did it! Woohoo! Oh! Well, dang nab it, Farley! You must not have chewed through the wires enough! Well, I am gonna need you to get chewing again. That is step 873, you know. 874 starts first thing in the AEM. Come on. Shouldn't we keep listening as the unicorn lady reveals her dastardly plan to the ferret? But I know how to find the next scavenger hunt clue. Let's go. Uh, I really could have used that s'more sugar rush right about now. Go big! I think we just made a memory. Dragon statue! What? No! Why won't you work? The keyhole is in the dragon's heart. Maybe that means something. But we don't know anything about dragons. But we know someone who does. You mean my non-brother brother? No way am I gonna ask for his help. There's gotta be some other way. 
Maybe we weren't meant to open the <laughs> Unicorn Castle after all. Oh, does <gasps> this have to happen right now? It's not even dawn! Tiny power! I am a very busy banker, and when I say I want to see the progress, I want to see it now. Okay, um, uh, as you can see, the blueprints are really great. I just need to work out a few kinks to get it running. And why should I trust that you can do that? Ever since your partner left, it's been downhill. No one wants to go to a theme park where the rides are constantly breaking. They aren't breaking, they're being broken. Please, if you just... You have until tomorrow night to get this ride running. Wait, please! Welcome to the Conceptional Hotel. Maury! Penny P! <laughs> Authentic Art Deco. Great find, Mom. Yep, living in luxury. Now this is a family vacation I can get behind. <laughs> I still don't know how you did it, girls. But business has been booming since you came here. We were even named number one most haunted hotel in Cosmopolitan City. Wait, what? Haunted? Well, haunted or not, we are so glad you could squeeze us in for New Year's Eve. With the ball drop and Melody's concert, the entire city's booked. And we had to come. Dad designed the ball for the New Year's Eve ball drop. No kidding. My architecture firm appointed me as head of the design task force. And the... Only member. Oh, <laughs> ball drop is happening in T-minus 12 hours. Oh, I can't wait to share that moment with my family. We wouldn't be anywhere else to ring in the new year. Yeah, the glamour of New Year's in the city is undeniable. I hope we can still see Melody's concert, even though we couldn't get tickets. Here you go, girls. I can't stay with you in the pocket suite this time, but say hello to Reba for me. Come on, Richard. We've got a bingo game to win. Woo! Grand prize! Here we come! <laughs> I'm so happy you two could come with us for New Year's Eve! I've got lots planned for us to do. Specifically, help me check off everything that's still on my New Year's resolutions list for this year. I've got one last day to do them. Wow, I'm surprised you didn't shrink the list. This is the shrunk list. <laughs> Hang on, Polly. Family meeting first. We've got a lot to do today. How exciting! We're getting meat and cheese tubes for lunch, right? There's the matinee play, the museum tour, volunteer hour, and, of course, we have to take a family photo with the ball. I see where you get your list-making skills, Polly. Yeah, you two are like twinsies. Oh. <laughs> no way! Mom's list is on white paper and mine's off-white. Oh, totally different. Like mother, like daughter. <laughs> but we have totally different things on our list. Matinee, museum, volunteer hour. How am I supposed to do those while I'm finishing my New Year's resolutions? Can we do Polly's list instead, Mrs. Pocket? I know you understand the pain of an unchecked list. Well, I guess you girls can have the afternoon, but you have to be back by 6 o'clock for a dinner reservation at La Ostra. There's no late seating. <gasps> thank you, thank you, thank you, Mom! We'll be there at 6. Promise! Thanks, Mrs. P. Six sharp. Now that we have a little privacy... Pocket floor, here we come! <laughs> Tiny power! So, Shawnee, what do you think? The only hotel with an entire pocket-sized floor? It's just like you said. The flowers, the chandelier, the mouse. You must be Reba. I've heard so much about you. Reba, ooh, love the new look. Mwah, mwah. Ooh la la, big New Year's plans, huh? Have a ball. Bye. See you, Reba. Okay, first up on my resolutions list. Stop procrastinating. Stop procrastinating. On the last day of the year? Yep, and we're doing it now. Check. Okay, next I have make a big change. Hmm, that one isn't so easy. You know what? I'm gonna save that for last. That's the definition of procrastinating. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's good you're doing all these resolutions. I actually have a resolution of my own. Oh, really, Lila? What is it? I want to be less competitive. Technically, it's my resolution for next year, but I want to get my resolution done before anyone else. Yeah, that sounds like you're being competitive. Oh. <laughs> I guess so. 
Oh, this is gonna be harder than I thought. How about you, Shawnee? Do you have any resolutions? Hmm. I know my Shawnee logic can sometimes go into overdrive. I want to take risks and have fun. No fair. Yours is easier than mine. Uh, I mean, it's not a competition. Hmm. Ah, this is perfect to start with. So, we're on a round spinning object proportionally thousands of feet in the air because... I can check off my resolution to travel more. <laughs> Greenland! Alaska! Russia! Canada! That doesn't really count. Enough shawnee logic. It'll be fun. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> yeah, you're right. This is fun. Oh. Last one to all seven continents is a rotten Did someone say ghost? Tiny power veggies! Eat more vegetables? Check! Ugh. Brussels sprouts are gross, no matter how small they are. Mm. Mm. I'll be less competitive later. I want to eat more veggies than Polly. Mm. Go big tree! Huh? Muffy? <sighs> Helping the environment? Check! Tiny power! Tiny power! Cleaning up! Check! <laughs> Ooh, that looks good on you. How about try this one? <laughs> Look at these sunglasses. Ooh! Lovely beads, Lila. Trying a new look? Check! <laughs> <laughs> it's 5.30. Plenty of time for more resolutions before dinner. I don't know, Polly. Maybe we should head over to the restaurant now. But what about the fun, Shawnee? I bet Polly can crush another resolution in record time. Let's see. I've got... make a big change? I don't think I can do that in a half hour. Wow. That's the stage that Melody is gonna perform on. Too bad the ticket sold out in 0.3 seconds. <sighs> I guess we'll just have to imagine being front row, seeing her dance moves and hearing her voice, and the crowd chanting, Melody! 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 Melody, over Melody. here! Wow, I really can hear the crowd. Please, I, I need to get backstage. Uh, Melody? Melody? <gasps> Polly, Johnny, Lila, over here! I can't believe you remember us. Of course I remember. You're the only fans who have rescued me with tiny power. That's pretty memorable. And thank the stars I saw you. I need a tiny favor. <sighs> Absolutely anything. I'm wearing a new costume for the concert, but I don't want anyone to post photos before the show. Hashtag spoiler alert. Uh, do you think you could use tiny power to sneak me backstage without anyone seeing? Sure, but we have to be quick. I really have to be at dinner at six. <laughs> of course. Thank you so, so, so much. Tiny power. Oh, oh there she is. is. Oh, oh, oh. Zuta. Oh. Huh? Wait, so no. Hold on tight. <sighs> <sighs> it's nice not to be chased for a moment. Now we just gotta get you backstage. Uh, what's up with this squirrel? I think she likes your purse. Oh, this? <laughs> Who wouldn't? They're going nuts for it in Paris, and I... Ah! Oh, ah! no! Melody! Come on! Get that squirrel! <laughs> Over there! Here at 
Atma Ostra for dinner and... Wait, wait, what is that? Chittering? Uh... Poor connection! Can't talk! See you soon! Chittering! <gasps> That's it! Uh, Lila? I think you've officially lost it. Well, I learned a little bit of mouse from Reba. I'm hoping it roughly translates to squirrel. I think that means please. Mm, thank you. Here. Now all your Parisian squirrel friends will be jealous. Let's get back to the concert! Go big! <sighs> Thanks a million, Polly. I'm so glad I ran into you. I never thought I'd get to go tiny again. Although, uh, I think I'm good for a while now. <laughs> Please, take these tickets. <gasps> Front row VIP? <laughs> I'm so glad we saved you. I mean, also because it was the right thing to do. Thanks, Melody. We'll see you tonight. But first, I have to go to dinner. Hopefully, Mom isn't mad. <laughs> You're late. Uh, uh, we lost the reservation. Everyone else went to grab dinner at <laughs> Clammy's Pizza. I'm sorry, Mom. I tried my best to get here on time. You knew this was important to me. Oh, you really let me down, Polly. You need to think about others more often. But she was thinking about others. That's why we're late. She was helping, and, um, never mind. Who were you helping, Polly? Melody! She had this purse, and then, uh, we ran into a tiny problem, and I guess I lost track of time. Polly, you don't need to make up an elaborate story. But I have proof! She gave us VIP tickets for the show tonight! Look! You won't be going to Melody's concert. We still have a lot of things on my list to do. What? Right now, we're going to have a slice of Clammy's pizza. Then we're going straight to Cosmo Tower for a family photo with the ball your dad made for the ball drop. Oh, you two should still go. See you back at the hotel. Sorry, Polly. We'll take notes. That Polly couldn't be here, too. Yeah. Wait, Richard? Melody, you're the best! You girls love Melody, too? I was thrilled when the bingo grand prize was VIP Melody tickets. Yay! Random. Awesome. You're awesome! <laughs> Woohoo! I hope Penelope gets down here soon. Woo! <laughs> Melody, you're awesome! We came up here just to get a photo, so let's do it. Oh, uh, I don't think that clam and garlic pizza is sitting right with me. <laughs> oh, Paxton, you're strapped in. I can't escape. Just setting the New Year's timer and making a few checks on Gertie here. That's what I named the ball. <laughs> oh, baby Gertie, she's grown up so fast. After we get the picture, I've got to meet Richard down at the concert, but... I can't figure out how to set the timer with this newfangled phone he got me. Oh, I just want one picture for the scrapbook. If we get the picture done quick, then maybe I can see Melody. I'll take care of this. The ball looks great, Dad. This way. Grandma, just hit this button for the photo timer, then join us. Timer for the photo set? Mom, why are you using my phone to take the picture? <gasps> Oops! Wrong timer! Ah! The ball's dropping! <laughs> Tiny power! <laughs> Polly? <sighs> We're safe, Grandma. Everyone's okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're not okay. We're... We're tiny! Oh, and Grandma's a giant! <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, yeah! All right! Polly is really missing out! Best concert ever! Woohoo! Why is the world so big suddenly? Uh, everything's fine! You're all fine! Just a bad 
dream! Ooh. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna think this is a bad dream. Grandma, I'm so sorry I exposed the secret. I just, I didn't know what else to do. Oh, don't be silly, Polly. You did exactly the right thing. Okay, but now what? It's a big change, I know. But it's time for the whole truth. Polly, what is going on here? <sighs> Family, I need to tell you something. Grandma gave me this locket. And it's special for a lot of reasons. Not just because it's been passed down by generations of pockets, but because it has powers. Tiny power Grandma! <gasps> you made us shrink, Polly? I don't understand. Polly's the one who gets shrinking powers? No fair. I'm the one who's read every issue of Micro Defenders. Are we stuck like this forever? Don't worry. With the locket, I can shrink down anything. And I can bring us back by saying... Go big! I'm back! Phew! I thought I was gonna have to go back to playing Little League. Polly, you have been keeping this secret for I don't even know how long. Is this why you missed dinner? You were shrinking things? Yeah, I actually saved Melody by shrinking her... And then there was the squirrel. Uh, but that's another story. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you. Polly, I don't want you to feel like you have to hide things from me. I want you to be able to tell me anything. Sorry, Pamela. It's my fault. I'm the one who told her to keep the locket secret. We never told you because we didn't want you to worry. Honey, this world is big and scary and dangerous enough as it is. Being tiny, it just makes you more helpless. Being tiny isn't helpless. It's helpful. I just saved you all from getting crushed. And I've helped with my powers lots of times. Like, I used my powers to help a bear with a toothache. I saved a girl from an avalanche. I got your anniversary ring back from some very crabby crabs. I don't think those are the safest examples. Oh, no. It's almost midnight. I've got ten minutes until the ball needs to drop, and it's already on the ground. What am I going to do? Uh, maybe I can help? No, Polly. You're not touching my phone again, and we are not done having this conversation. Hmm, it looks like I'll have to reset Gertie manually. Unfortunately, the reset button is inside the ball. Inside? Why did you put it inside? A reset button on the outside would totally ruin the sleek lines, honey. It's only supposed to drop once. Ugh. If only I could get inside. I might have a way to do that. If Dad and I are pocket-sized, we can reset the ball from the inside in no time. Polly, you really think you can help with that thing? Mom, I know I can. I guess I don't really have a lot of options, so... <sighs> okay, but be careful. And if you're not back out of that ball by midnight, I'm tearing Gertie apart myself to come get you. Don't worry, Mom. We'll be fine. <sighs> okay, Polly Pie. Lead the way. Tiny power! Whoa! I love you both. Be safe. Love you too, hon. But uh, that's a lot of garlic. <gasps> You're right, Polly. Tiny is amazing. Five minutes. We gotta get moving. Uh. <laughs> Uh, just like that, eh? Uh, Whoa! There! Whew. You know, maybe this whole shrinking down thing isn't so bad. I still have some getting used to this. Go big! Oh, 
thank the stars. Are you okay? Did you get hurt? Are you sick? Is your atomic structure okay? Woohoo! That was rad! First you were like, whoosh, up to the top of the ball, and then you were like, kabam, kicking it open, and then you were, well, I don't know, because I wasn't inside the ball. Oh, please take me on our next adventure, Polly. Yeah, tiny one! <laughs> Let's not get hasty here. What a rush! And we did it with three minutes to spare! Thanks for helping me out, kiddo. Okay, you know what you're doing. I take back what I said before. Now I see you think of others too much. <laughs> I think I get it from you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about that picture? I only have three minutes to get back down to Richard for my New Year's kiss. gave you those tickets for helping her outrun paparazzi and the nutty squirrel? Yeah, but these seats are pretty cool, too. Best viewing spot ever! No crowds! You're telling me that Shawnee and Lila were in on the shrinking thing the whole time? Yeah, and Melody, and Nick Nose, and Bella, too. <laughs> I knew there were strange things happening in our house. Well, I'm glad you told us. Making a big change. Check. I think telling you all about the locket definitely counts. <laughs> Any thoughts on what you'll be putting on next year's resolution list? Nothing. I like my life how it is now. Don't need to change a thing. Ten seconds! Ten, nine, eight, seven, 